Hello guys, Crossfire here, and today I'll be showing you the highest damage ranger loadout in Terraria 1.4 Journey's End. For the armor, we'll be using the Vortex armor set. This armor set gives you a total defense of 71 defense, and for the Vortex helmet, increases your range damage by 16%, and increases your ranged critical strike chance by 7%. For the Vortex breastplate, it gives you a 12% increased range damage and critical strike chance, and gives you a 25% chance to not consume ammo. For the Vortex Leggings, it gives you an 8% increased range damage and critical strike chance, and a 10% increased movement speed. The set bonus that this armor gives is giving you the ability to toggle stealth, and uh, this ability to toggle stealth can be activated by double tapping down, and increases your ranged ability and reduces chance for enemies to target you, but greatly reduces your movement speed. Unfortunately, uh, you are sacrificing a lot of movement for the damage output here, but later on in the video, we will show you how to take advantage of the Celestial Starboard to get the most out of movement. For the weapons, you have a choice between three weapon classes, which are guns, bows, or explosives. For the explosive class, we will be using the Celebration MK2, which is the newest explosive weapon in 1.4 and one of the best in the game right now. For the guns, we'll be using the SDMG and the sniper rifle, and for bows, we'll be using the Phantasm or the Eventide. For the ammo, you have a choice between these four bullet types, which are Luminite, Icker, Chlorophyte, or Crystal. The Luminite bullets give you increased and infinite penetration for uh, enemies, which is great for clearing out hordes and lines of enemies. Icker bullets decreases target's defense. Chlorophyte Bullets has the ability to home on enemies, which is good for taking out very fast targets. Crystal Bullets uh, are great for taking out single strong individual targets as it creates several crystal shards that um, explode on impact. If you don't have any of these bullets, you can use the Endless Musket Pouch, and which gives you infinite musket bullets. However, uh, these are only normal musket bullets and they're not special at all, so that's one drawback to the Endless Musket Pouch. For the arrows, we'll be using the Luminite arrows mainly, but if you don't have that, we will settle with the Endless Quiver, which gives you infinite ammo, but only normal arrows. For the Luminite arrows that we'll be ma use, uh, using mainly, it shoots out two waves of arrows, but once those arrows hit an enemy, they give a chance to spawn homing arrows on the enemy. For the explosive ammo, we'll be using Rocket 3 ammo, which is the highest and most damaging rocket ammo type that there is for explosives, and has the largest blast radius. Moving on to accessories, we'll be using the Sniper Scope, Ranger Emblem, Recon Scope, Destroyer Emblem, Avenger Emblem, and the Celestial Shell. And for the 7th accessory slot, you can either use a Stalker's Quiver or the Peacher's Scent. The Sniper Scope can increase your view range for guns and gives you a 10% increased range damage and critical strike chance. The Ranger Emblem can increase your range damage by 15%. The Destroyer Emblem can increase your damage by 10% increase your critical strike chance by 8%. Your Recon Scope can increase your view range for guns and give you a 10% increase in range damage and critical, critical strike chance. And the Avenger Emblem can give you a 12% increased damage. And for Celestial Shell, it gives you a minor increase to all stats. If you're using guns and explosives, you can use the Putrid Scent for the 7 accessory slot, which maximizes the output for damage uh, by 5% increased damage and critical strike chance. If you're using arrows, you can use the Soccer's Quiver, which increases arrow damage by 10% and greatly increases arrow speed and gives you a 20% chance to not consume arrows. For the mounts, it's recommended that you don't use any mounts as it disables the set bonus for soccer ability, which increases your range damage and reduces chance for enemies to target you. But if you want to keep your movement speed while keeping the stealth ability on, you can use the Celestial Starboard, which you can use while using your stealth ability. So let me give you an example here and I can move around while using it. For the consumables, we'll be using the Ammo Reservation Potion, Rage Potion, Wrath Potion, Titan Potion, Christmas Pudding, Foe, and Cooked Fish. And for Archery, we'll be using Archery Potion. The Ammo Reservation Potion gives you a 20% chance to not consume ammo and last 8 minutes. Rage Potion increases Critical Strike chance by 10% and last 4 minutes. Wrath Potion increases damage by 10% and has a 4 minute duration, and Titan Potion increases knockback for 8 minutes. For the food, you can either use the Christmas Pudding, Faux, or Cooked Fish, 
which all give improvements to all stats. However, the Christmas Pudding is the best one out of all of this, as it does give a major improvement to all stats. And for Foe, gives a medium improvement to all stats. And Cook Fish gives a minor improvement to all stats. It's most likely that, that you are going to be using the Foe or Cook Fish, as they are easier to get in the game. If you are using arrows, you can use the Archery Potion, which increases arrow speed and damage by 20% and lasts 8 minutes. Now we'll be demonstrating the uh, the gun class and the explosives class. We're going to be summoning the suspicious looking eye, mechanical skull, and mechanical worm. First, let's discuss right here the ammo box, which you get from the traveling merchant. And it gives you a buff, a 20% chance not to consume ammo for 10 minutes. Let's summon the eye of Cthulhu. Let, let's let's uh let's use uh, rockets, and we can also uh, activate stealth to do even more damage. Let's see how fast we kill this dude. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Oh my god! This hurt. Two. Mm -hmm. Well, that was pretty pretty fast, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, now we can move on to mechanical skull. And there we go. Now let's do arrows. Oh my god. No. Christ. <laughs> Alright, now mechanical skull. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, I hope you liked the video. This was the uh, best ranger class uh, loadout for rockets, arrows, and guns. We hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget to leave a comment or give suggestions for more video and more content. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.